Hello, this is Ben119 and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to carry on with my Pikmin 3 Deluxe com Collect Treasure walkthrough. So we are up to uh, mission number 5, which is the Shaded Garden. And I'm going to show you how to get Platinum on this mission. So you have 8 minutes, uh, there's quite a bit of multitasking going on. So let's just get right into it. So first thing you want to do is you want to split up your captains. Uh, you want to throw one of them to your whites, one to your rocks. And I'm going to stay with my blues. I'm going to switch to Charlie because he's being a weirdo around the ball bobs. I don't know why he's scared of them. He's Diz. He always runs around. Uh, so as Brittany, I'm going to throw five on the nugget pile and two on the cherries. Wait, one on each cherry. That's what I basically meant by that. Uh, kill this little ball bob because we're evil. Uh, and then we're going to throw the other five on the nugget pile. Uh, I was going to throw some on that nugget pile there, but you can come back to that later, it's not needed right now. If anything, it's probably better to leave it, because now we've got more Pikmin. Uh, throw all your rocks on these crystals, get this open. You just want to basically open up this area, so that's another point I like to make while doing these. Just make sure to open up as much as you can, as early as possible, so then you can have things going in and out. Is basically what you need. Uh, there we go, we're going to throw a captain up there uh, to get those Pikmin. You want to try and access all your Pikmin as early as possible as well. And now that we've got those Pikmin, I'm going to start collecting these dead ball bulbs. Uh, I'm going to throw my whites first because I kind of need my rocks for stuff. So we're just going to get this strawberry here. Uh, get this cherry, like that. And now I'm going to go here to base because I've got no Pikmin. And this is just finished, so I'm going to get all the Pikmin that i got. I'm going to go through this new area that I've unlocked. The area on the left basically leads to where that crystal gate led that I opened, but we won't really be going in there. We're just going to be having blue Pikmin come out of there when they're carrying stuff. Uh, for now, I'm going to get all this fruit back here because there's a lot of fruit. Uh, let's just pick everything up. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Uh, pick up this cherry. Uh, get these Pikmin. That cherry's quite hidden, make sure to get it, by the way. It's very easy to miss. Okay, now that I've got some more Pikmin, I'm going to use go here to that bush, so I can get some rocks. Uh, pick up these, uh, pick up that strawberry, pick up that cherry. Uh, just pick everything up that you see, basically. Uh, now that we've got some rocks, uh, all we need now is some more blues, so a good tactic I like to use in this mission that... Not a lot of people, I don't know if not a lot of people, I don't really know. <laughs> but something that I think people might not think of doing is throwing Pikmin from the base to down here. Uh, I don't know, it's, it's, a, it's quite clever I guess, but you can do that. Uh, the game doesn't limit you. And I just realised there's a leaf bug over here, so take out this leaf bug because he'll eat your Pikmin if you don't. I got quite lucky there. Just take out all the leaf bugs as early as possible, like I was saying with enemies, take enemies out as well as early as possible. Make sure to use uh, your blues for everything that's water based. I'd recommend saving, like say like this thing here. I'm going to use rocks to carry this because if I use blues then I can't really use blues for anything else because I can't really use like rocks to pick up these cherries. I kind of need my blues for this. So you basically want to prioritise using blues on water based stuff and using things like rocks on uh, things on solid ground or whites on nugget piles etc. Uh, you'll figure it out, you'll get there in the end. You always will. Alright, let's just pick more of this stuff up. Uh, I'm saving a lot of my rocks because uh, I can kill this ball bulb really quick. Plus I have 13 rocks and he drops 3 cherries so that works out really well because I have 13. And all this stuff will take 13 in total, like that. Very quick, very smooth. Let's just carry on up here, uh, get these Pikmin. Uh, got some whites. I doubt I'll be using them. Oh well. Uh, I'm going to head down here as Al. Uh, this nugget pile was done ages ago. See, if you just put loads of Pikmin on nugget piles, you just get it done. You could just put loads on one nugget pile, that's a good way as well, near the end, but... I think if there's loads of nugget piles to worry about, just put a few on each quite near the start and in no time they'll be done before you know it. When I was a lot younger I never used to do that, I used to always put loads on one because I always thought that if I put just like 5 on one that was had like 30 in it that it would never get done because that was stupid, the way I thought. 
and I realised, oh, they're getting it done. It's just taking longer. But they do get it done. But towards the end like this here, I'm just getting all of them, because I know that this is like one of the last things, but the last thing is the nugget pile that I haven't touched. And I don't quite have enough Pikmin for it. I have 22 and we need 25. So I'm just going to throw 22 on here and I'm going to get 3 whites. And I'm going to put them on it. I could have got the whites first. That would have been slightly faster. But oh well. There you go. I'm going to get the whites from up there. From the nugget pile that finished ages ago. There you go. Overall, I think it's a really cool mission. It's quite a difficult mission for beginners to get platinum on. Even though I had uh, over 2.5 minutes left. There's a lot going on, uh, there's loads of different multitasking things, there's loads of different routes, lots of nugget piles, lots of fruit, you need to handle your Pikmin well, but it's really rewarding to get Platinum. I think even if you don't get Platinum, it, you'll probably get a very decent score at least. And what I'd recommend doing is, there's the after hours system and what that is, is it's if you don't finish in time, you can carry on from where you're at but you don't get any extra medals, so I'd recommend just carrying on with this route and just finishing it, even if it takes you slightly longer, because then you get the hang of it and you can then improve it. So there you go. If you enjoyed the video, please like the video and subscribe if you're new around here. If you enjoyed that video, please watch the last ones and watch the latest ones. Goodbye.